Regardless if you have a clinical mental health issue like anxiety or depression, or you're just finding life to be really hard right now, therapy can give you the tools you need to approach your life in a different way. And that's why we're excited to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. Finding a therapist can be really hard especially when you're limited to the options in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online and with just a few simple questions on their survey, you can get matched with a therapist in just a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There's a link in our description. It's betterhelp.com slash definitely not. Clicking that link gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Plus, it helps support the channel. It's important to find the right therapist for you. So if for some reason you don't fit with a therapist, you can easily switch to a new therapist for free without stressing about insurance or who's in your network. So just as Ken said, sometimes life can be a lot to deal with and mm -hmm. it can be really helpful to talk to someone, especially someone who's not a friend or family member. So you're kind of free of that judgment and you can share with them and it's all very open. Um, so She's not trying to say I'm judgmental, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. Um, but BetterHelp was kind enough to offer me a trial as we were going to do this spot. Mm -hmm. And I thought I would make use of it because why not? It actually made a really big difference. Um, the therapist I talked to, she gave me some great techniques for coping with just daily stress and anxiety. Um, one of which was a breathing exercise that I find myself doing more often than I probably want to admit on TV. <laughs> um, but it was it was really good practical tools that I could I could employ in my day without drawing attention, without getting all stressed out further by having to find time to do this thing. Mm -hmm. It was just very easy to use, very practical, and it has helped a lot. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash definitely not. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a crazy couple in love that loves reacting to some Call of Duty. We're totally crazy. Yeah. And so today we're checking out uh, 18 Perca Cola jingles and songs uh, with lyrics for Call of Duty. Um, this is a video that was uh, recommended to us. Uh, and so, yeah, we're checking it out. And if you want all of our Call of Duty reactions, check out the description of this video because we got a playlist there for you. Um, so I thought it'd be fun. Yeah. It's, you know, it's not a fun. That's need, not fun. Need, need a little bit of fun. Yeah. When you're feeling kind of lonely And your spouse is kind of dead <laughs> I guess that's why you're lonely With someone Your empty little bed Is left around the corner And your love has been You no longer Will you wait a while No, I can't Okay I like it Mm-hmm Please tell me they have this and they actually like sell it. I know, right? Those I'm, wine? I'm yeah. just saying, I was like, they should sell all of these drinks. With Widow's Wine, you're mine. We're gonna have to come up with like that a Call of Duty like Widow's Wine drink now. <laughs> Sugar Nog? That wasn't as good as Widow's Wine. Hmm. Yeah, this one's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the new version's definitely better. Yep. It's clearer, too. Yeah. Little revive. If you wanna get up, you need a little revive. Da da da. Kind of have a big room for like a, a scratchy like Louis Armstrong mm. kind of voice. Yeah. Everything is dragging you down. Grabs you by the hair, pulls you down to the ground. Now. Kind of like the first one better. Yeah. Yes, you do. Oh, if you go, get up and go. You pick up 
Now it sounds more like Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Like a Rocky Horror Picture vibe. Mm. <laughs> Here I am, right where I belong. For like a Christmas song. in there. The planes, he ran so fast he dodged the rain. He was a burro. <laughs> he hurried in to save a day. Gun in hand, a price they say. He was strong like a mule. He was stubborn like a mule. He even drank like a mule. <laughs> a burro. A burro. He was a burro. A burro. <laughs> See, that was good. Yep. <laughs> I got my donkey. I like the first one. Yeah. Definitely. Most times the first one's been best. It was only the first time you saw the, the two versions that the second one was the best. Yeah. Other than that. <laughs> PhD flopper? Seventies vibe. Good, so bad, and the in between. When you die of the throne, you are surely gonna blow. When you die of the throne, it's gonna shake you to the bone. All the zombies go wrong, cause of PhD. Feel it 
It's like supposed to be like their Shaft theme song. I'm just talking about PhD. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Not short, but not too long. <laughs> not short, but not too long. <laughs> that was a good line. <laughs> yeah. Damn straight. <laughs> I don't get the flopper part. Shot daiquiri. There's another good, good drink that we're gonna have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great song. I would like jam out to this in the car. I know, right? <laughs> Tombstone soda. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ooh, bad news, tissues. <laughs> <shoes. laughs> Diddy. You need some more yeehaws in Oh, okay, yes. I like the melody for that more than I like the lyrics. Mm. 
Ultra Eight Elixir. This makes me think of something like out of Pulp Fiction. Hmm. Alright, I'll take the vibe. Ooh, wow, there is. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now there's this one. It's just a creepy melody. This is not a jingle. Those are fun. Yeah, definitely. It was it was interesting the jingle at the end, just because it was such a tonal shift from all the right? others. <laughs> um that I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know, I, I, I was like, I'm so like in it and yeah and yeehaw and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we do the jingle, I'm like, well, that's interesting. Like, <laughs> like change, change the room a little bit. Yeah, way to bring the room down. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's bring it down. I don't know, I was thinking like, this belongs in Krampus or something, because it was mm. so yeah eerie and unsettling, but there was like that hint of maybe what once was a Christmas jingle. I don't know. So that's where it, that's just where it struck me. Uh, Widow's Wine, I think, still might be my favorite. Uh, that was a great way to open it. Um, Deadshot Daiquiri, another another good yeah. good name. Um, there, yeah, there's some good songs. I like how I mix it up in there. Like a lot of country stuff uh, in there. And what's, what's funny is like I normally am not a huge like country fan. Uh, like that's probably like the genre that I li listen to the least as far as music goes. Um, but like I really enjoyed them uh, in this. I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, Flopper PhD. That was another. That was another good one. I mean, I loved how varied the the tones mm -hmm. and the styles of music were. Um, that one that you said was sort of like Pulp Fictiony. I kind of liked yeah. that because that was, I don't know, sort of like slow and mysterious. Mm -hmm. I just, it had a a little thing mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Um, and then the one that I said sounded like it belonged in Corpse Bride. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. I liked that because they were they were sort of different and I felt, I think, more connected to what a story might be behind them as opposed to some of the others that sounded like, this is a jingle you would hear on the radio for yeah, a product. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Like, like those seem to have more of an actual story behind them and I, I was more intrigued as a result. Uh, I also like the one um, that was uh, kind of had more like the 70s vibe. Like I said, it was like almost like, <laughs> like sounded like Shaft's uh, theme song or something like that, I think, which I think was Flopper PhD, uh, that one, yeah, that was, uh, yeah. That, that wasn't when it was was for PhD. Yep. Um, yeah, so these were a lot of fun. Uh, I think they have more of them. So if you have another video uh, for more of these jingles, let us know down below in the comments. And more stuff to check out for uh, Call of Duty. And if you want all of our Call of Duty reactions, we got a playlist in the description of this video, yes. along with a link to our Patreon. Get early free access to our reactions. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for 18 Perca-Cola jingles, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>